You were uh, you were down on this season. Well, wait a minute. Not the whole season. No, I mean, I, on tonight's premiere. episode. <laughs> hey, look. As a writer, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> the guys are just trying to build momentum. Yeah, right. Like, what you normally have to do, Bill, on this spot yeah. is, you know, I know everybody wants all the bells and whistles and all the confetti, but as a writer, you got to set the tone. You gotta, you gotta. So you like some of the choices your right. peers, so, Benny Off and West made, right? And, but I think they kind of went dragon porn on you. They're like, I loved we, it. We know this is gonna be a little boring. And then you and I were sitting there, and you completely unprompted on the couch just say to Kyle and I, you go, you know, I can't get enough of these dragon scenes. <laughs> 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 I, was like, I fucking love the dragons. It was very so high great. PR the dragons. It was such a great line because everybody had been quiet for like five minutes. <laughs> the other funny thing is, it's just the three of us. We're waiting for food. Thrones is on, and all of a sudden, that dude's in the brothel, just getting annihilated by three women. Right, and it's like, hey, so how's work? It's like one of those. Um, I. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the response was, but then I was, we were trying to dare each other. And and clearly it's one of those things where I was like, I want to send out the tweet. That's the anti everything, but it's not anti thrones. I love the show and the whole deal, but it was a zig. You wanted a zig. Yeah. I wanted it. This is not the the premiere was not unziggable. And so I was like, what would be the funniest thing that we could come up with? And we came up with some really funny stuff that we wouldn't tweet. And then I just said, Hey, when's Veep on? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> which we thought was funny and then nobody got it no one got it because they thought i was doing the you know hockey finals and then i give you a may baseball final highlight and they thought it was just me goofing on everybody being in the game of thrones but what i was really doing is because we were like 45 minutes in and you're like this is slow this is slow but i get what look i get what they were doing i don't know if everybody else i know you were looking at the structure and how they're setting yeah. up the next four episodes like i don't want non-linear storylines what's the b story I'll tell you what I love, the dragons. I mean, those things, watching those babies fly. And it was like a date. You don't see a lot of that where you're like, wait, you guys are on a dragon flying date. And it seems way more dangerous. It you, just How does the dragon know that you're on there? It's a fucking dragon. Well, that's what he asked her. Jon Snow asked her, what do you hold on to? And she's like, just figure it out. And it's like, can I have a little more info? We're going to be flying really high on these dragons. Like, uh, any tricks? Anything? You think you're the queen of the seven kingdoms? We can't get a fucking saddle for one of these things. And then we tried to ruin it for your wife a little bit. Yeah, we did. Which we was really mean. Tried to tell her one of the dragons died. She didn't see it. Uh, I thought it'd be funny for us to recap game. Since we have binge mode, which is the best <laughs> recap podcast on the internet. I thought it'd be funny if we ended each podcast recapping that night's game of thrones from the eyes of two guys who barely know all the characters names but have seen every episode seen every episode yeah but we um, needed kyle pretty he was a life raft so here's us. what i thought happened today um john snow found out that he's actually half targaryen and that his that khaleesi is his aunt i guess although he didn't know that part at some point we thought it was sister but that's not true i think it's aunt. it felt a little princess leia luke skywalker which means he's actually the real Iron Throne guy. Yeah, heir to the throne. He's the heir to the, the throne. The rightful. He's the rightful heir, but now he's to decide whether he Seven wants, Kingdom. He has to decide now whether he wants to take the throne away from his girlfriend. Right. Who's his aunt. Yeah. And by the way, this isn't His aunt of, who he's been sleeping with. This isn't one of the top four incest atrocities on Game of Thrones, this, this whole aunt nephew thing. Yeah. And as Kyle pointed out, like, my wife is Kyle's aunt. So this is gross. This is grosser than we're giving her credit for. Um, so that happened. The uh, I don't see Kyle being a king. The White Walkers yeah. knocked down that giant wall. And then they went to go check out what happened. And there was a little boy that was attached to the wall around all these limbs. And then it turned out, I think he was a White Walker. And they set him on fire. Yeah, he hadn't been possessed that was cool. yet. Or he was, or they didn't know. Um, that was the real scare you. Hey, we got to give these guys something. Yeah, because we're just we're bringing everybody back. It's almost like a big family reunion. We got to set the it's the template has been set here, right? But we got to give you a little spice too. Is what they were doing. There was a little Sansa not trusting uh, Daenerys, little little side side eye action that Jon Snow sensed, and then called her on it, and then uh, it, it just seems like they're setting up some sort of tension. You know what it felt like to me. Protective sister. The college football playoff committee. Like they're sitting there and they're going, you know, the unsullied, like, come on. 
And then they're like the Dothraki, like they're not very good at home. They're good on the road. And then you're sitting around and be like, hey, you know, these fucking zombies are like right around the corner. Yeah. And you want to bitch about clans and whatnot and the whatnot. Like, come on. And that's what uh, John Stone basically made the case. And that's when I compared him to Belichick for one of the three times during the episode. Belichick gives easily up, three, yeah, easily, easily yeah. three. Belichick gives up the crown. He immediately trades whatever he needs to trade to get just more draft picks, basically to fight the White Walkers. That's how he's thinking. He's not worried about crowns. What he has now, all he's thinking about is the big game way down the road with the White Walkers. That's it. We're on right. to the White Walkers. Um, another thing that happened. Theon, you did, by the way, for the people that think Bill's kidding right now, he's not. Unprompted once again, he would just go, Belichick wouldn't do that. <laughs> I really did. <laughs> I think Belichick would win the win the Iron Throne. Pretty right. For easily. people that think it's an actor, it's kind of his his Twitter thing. He just sits around at home. He goes up what? to his kid. Belichick's he's like, Belich- hugely influential. Yeah. <laughs> his son was like going at the mozzarella sticks. He's like, Bill wouldn't do it that way. Bel- Belichick would not have mozzarella stick right now. Uh, uh, Theon, who no longer has uh who has been missing his uh generals for a while. A lot of guys on the show. He, um, yeah, he's a top. Is he your favorite eunuch, or do you you like the bald guy? I like the bald guy because I think he's a real. I feel, I feel like he's, uh, despite it all, he's a real operator, mm. and he's, um, you know, started at the bottom. Now we hear. Could take a joke. So, uh, Theon freed his sister, Yara. Good job, right now. And she headbutted him to thank him. That was cool. And then they made up. And then, uh. She kind of let him go, and I don't know if we see her again. You know what blew my mind was the Viking robots. I was like, are you guys fucking... So, like, right at the end, yeah. when the Viking robot clan showed up, I'm like, okay, these guys stepped it up. And I think the robots are going to be the key to defeating the White Walkers. The Viking robots. Yeah. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> uh, and then... And then the stars. <laughs> People are going to start drug testing us for this podcast. The ringer, next time I, I show tried, up, they'll be like, can you, uh, can you come down I here? I tried to quiet sell it. Uh, and then the Starks kind of reunited. It was the first time we saw all of them together. We left out Cersei. Um, gave it up. She gave it up to, uh, what was that guy's name, Kyle? Euron. 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 Who I liked. He's kind of a rational confidence. You might be the only guy that likes him. No, I, 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 I liked his strategy with Cersei. He, he went a rational confidence. I want a boat he one day. He fired so some threes at I, her. I like that part of it, but because um, <laughs> he's always got boats, right? Boats but I, boats. I think actually the biggest thing, the biggest thing, I'm glad you went there because of all the stuff that's happened because she said, um, you Wait. want a whore, buy one. You want a queen, earn her. And every single woman that I follow on social media posted that. Like, now the rule, the game just changed. Like, hey, no offense. You know she still slept with the grimy pirate guy, right? <laughs> you know she still slept with him. So, and, and she might know, be pregnant. Yeah, like, it's a real good line. But but he didn't, he didn't turn around and leave with his boats, now did he? And he was like the cat eating the canary afterwards, too. Yeah, he was a real... That guy's I can, not a cuddler. <laughs> I can promise you this. That guy's dying. That guy will die over the next. Who's seven. dying first? Who's the big first? That guy's death? one of the first ones. I don't think he's tier one enough. So then, creepy post pubescent brand. No one likes that guy. His approval rating's so low right now. No he's one like likes Ben him. Simmons of Game of Thrones. I like that he took his shot though with Cersei. He just easily could have been murdered by the any of the people in suit of armor at any time. And then, uh, Bran. Yeah, Bran. It's reunited. I'm typically weird performance from brand like it's clearly never wants to get traded i have one person i know one person who's like i like the raven storyline <laughs> <laughs> they're no dragons maybe guys haven't put e- a dragon the guy who said this people haven't emailed him in like a year by the way brand hasn't been able to walk in six years they can't throw him at a dragon let him fly around a little bit get a little feel for the being in the air with drogon one of those guys no it's drogon the dead dragon Who's the, who are the living dragons, Kyle? Oh, man. Come Steve on, Steve and Doug. Jeez. <laughs> Steve no? and Doug, the other two dragons. <laughs> Steve dragon and Doug dragon. Hey, come here, Doug. So then- uh, Get on Doug, John. I'll the get- last one at the end was Bran seeing Jamie Lannister. 
Yeah, there you go. That was good. That the was last good. time they had really locked eyes, he was seeing uh, Jamie having sex with his sister, and then he got pushed off a high tower. So there's some mending of fences that needs to happen. The man has to talk that one out. Maybe at M- maybe at a NBA TV in one of the All Star Break episodes, you know, they get Shaq and Kobe. <laughs> this week it's Jamie Lannister and Brand are going to talk about. Jamie's out. like, I didn't really know you. <laughs> I just don't know why you did it. Yeah, I thought you were peeping Tom. I didn't. It, I just. I. I was fine with you and your sister. Just don't push me off the tower next time. So what? You can see shit. How's this work? <laughs> so and then the the coming attractions, which they don't give away anything anymore because they know people like Mallory and Jason are just gonna f- pick apart the freeze frames and figure out where the show's going. So now it's just like a whole lot of. It's like Mad Men used to do this too. It's like coming up on Mad Men, it would be like Don Draper having a Coke and then somebody <laughs> in a car and then like like Peggy saying something and then it was like, what was that? Is that? So anyway, they don't give it anyway. So that was our Game of Thrones recap. What'd you think, Kyle? New who's segment great? or should who's, who's this be the only time guy? we did it? Who's your first dead guy? Oh, I think Cersei's lover is dead within, Yeah, he's I would say two thirds of an episode. Over under frame is 40 minutes. Yeah, episode two. Yeah, they gotta they got to take out somebody big. In in the second episode, I also I think think. the bearded guy is going to have a really really great death. The guy with the bug eyes, that guy. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the the the, uh, Tormund. Yeah, yeah. Fire sword. Yeah, Yeah. he's going to have a death, but it'll be a cool death, and he'll he'll have a couple sentences before he soldier's death. The other thing, I really they haven't had a lot of scenes with Sansa and Jon Snow, and how they disguise the height difference is (laughs) phenomenal because. Kid Harrington's like five six, five seven in real life. And you're pretty and, good friends with him, right? No, I <laughs> stood next to him at a party once. But uh, oh, I don't know. That's not Sansa's, that's not what he said. He thinks you're closer. Sansa's like five foot eleven, so they have to use these weird height things where you never actually see the wide shot. It's yeah, and how, they're still she's still towering. And she's over still towering. Him. Right. It's like Vin Diesel in The Rock in any Fast and Furious movie. <laughs> 